Woe to those Christians who have deserted me in favor of New Age paganism. Tuesday, September 24, 2013 at 10.44 p.m. My dearly beloved daughter, every living soul has a powerful instinct to seek out God in their lives. Those who find the love of God in its most pure form are given this gift because of their humility and acceptance of the fact that all glory belongs to God. Pagans, on the other hand, in their quest for spiritual peace, seek out the creation of the true God, rather than their Creator. Instead of laying themselves before God, my Father, the Almighty, Creator of all things, they lie prostrate before false idols, including the wonders He created for the world, the earth, the sun, the moon and the stars. They idolize these great wonders and then believe that by doing so, this gives them great powers. What they are seeking is a form of spiritual enlightenment, which they hope will bring them pleasure and peace. Many then, through meditation and yoga, open their minds and souls to allow the spirit of evil to corrupt them. They mistakenly believe that some other power, other than that which comes from God the Most High, can bring them the peace, which they crave. Know now that there is only one God. Any other form of adulation amounts to paganism. It does not matter what they say or how they justify their actions, they are inviting Satan to invade their souls and once he gains access, he and the demons he sends will not leave those souls alone. They will torment these souls, fill them with lies and have them believe that they possess a gift. Some believe they can heal others, through practices such as Reiki, when what they do instead is infest others including the innocent. When pagans chant, to attract spiritual gifts, they say that this brings them peace. While many believe this, know that within a short period of time, once the spirit of evil has entered their minds, they will become agitated and no respite will they find. Every pleasure of the senses is constantly sought out by them and all they will receive in return will be a darkness of the soul. Paganism brings a terrible disquiet and, in lands where the heathen cry out to the false gods, they incur the wrath of my father. Many such souls do not understand what they are doing, but recognize them by the ways in which they will adorn their bodies, as they consider themselves sacred vessels in the eyes of the false idols they claim to worship. Love, humility or personal sacrifice for the good of others, will be lacking, for they only worship the senses. They do not understand that their souls are a gift from God and so they give them away in the pursuit of perfection, which can never be theirs. During the warning, I will awaken within these souls the truth as to who they belong to. Pray that they will accept my hand of mercy. Woe to those Christians who have deserted me in favor of New Age paganism. They are the ones who do not want my mercy and would prefer to dabble in nonsense, because it feeds their egos when they believe that they have the power to control matters of spirituality. While they seek personal perfection in this way, they cut themselves completely from God. By doing so, they open the door to the evil one, who will seduce and hypnotize them through the appeal of superstitious promises, which lead to their souls becoming barren where the love of God cannot thrive. Your Jesus.